I am Pastor Mweki Moses Mishek. I am from Botswana in a village called Bubono. Firstly, I was here for deliverance. Uh, secondly, for impartation. And again, uh, for I, I have the problem with the church. Okay, it is not growing. People are coming in and out. And those who are in the church, uh, who are working the not is in the church completely. It seems I'm just running it by myself through the little mind I have. It definitely affected me. It affected me a lot because I'm using my resources and the family's resources, uh, stuff like that. It is really affecting me. Hence, it is not growing also. Hmm. It was very nice. It was very nice because what I expected is what he told me. And I'm speaking, I'm expecting to come again sometime to give a testimony. Uh, I feel very light. I'm very light, I'm delighted. Well, I will say to other people watching me there that they should make it an opportunity to come here, to come and receive, to come and del be delivered. Uh. My name is Apostle Jele from Soshankufe. It was the, my spiritual li uh, uh, life. It was also the finances that I was having. So that is the reason that made me to come to see the man of God. I was having many attacks, of which they didn't mention them all. He even called, went behind. So he surprised me. So in a way that I could even not tell him more because he mentioned he went beyond. Yes, he also mentioned it and he said he's going to pray for me and then I will see a huge difference. Yes, it was. It affected me a lot because in a way that I was even questioning myself if a mom called or not, why are these things happening to me? What was wrong with me? Am I really called by God? Or maybe that the, the thing of a calling was coming from my mind. So I said, no, let me go and send Apostle Rail. I need a clarification. Yes, man. Right now, I feel so happy. He even prayed for me. I feel so light in my body. Right now, I, I can tell you where I'm going now. Hallelujah, yes, amen. I believe that God has anointed me. He has raised me. I'm going to see miracles. I'm coming with a testimony. What I will say is that we must not be ashamed. Uh, Apostle, we have found them running this race. So there is somewhere where we lack wisdom, where we lack knowledge. So we must not be ashamed or afraid to seek more from the one who experience. Like Apostle, he's more anointed. That's what I used to tell my family, my wife. I said, Apostle is anointed more than me. So I must swallow my pride and focus on what God has given me. That is what I said, I'm going to send Apostle. Because even myself, I was lost until now. Yeah, my name is uh, Simon Smith Shombe. I'm an apostle by the grace. And uh, we thank God that you are from Namibia to come and uh, visit a man of God, uh, Apostle Jeremiah Makananisa, and Mama Prophetess Makananisa. Uh, the person next to me is my beautiful and wonderful wife. So I thank God for he blessed me with a gift for her to come in my life. Yeah, the lesson that uh, brought me to uh, Charlie's Missionary Church, uh, South Africa Tembisa, is the issue about the war. There is a war as a, a minister of the Word of God. I realized that there is a war. That's why, especially when the man of God give me a prophecy that today, my, this month my church is small, or next month my church is big, and again my church is small, big, it grow and destroy it, grow and, you know, so people, they come and disappear. So I was worried, that's why I decided to come here. It happened since I started the church. So it happened since I became the ch I started the church. There was a big fight. That's why I decided to say, let me see, go and see the anointed man of God to get off my wife, so that she will go will come for her to be a witness. 
because we are working together like how the apostle and his wife they are working together um the challenges was actually uh, facing in our ministry uh, was mostly uh, about the, the church. Sometimes uh, people come, it grows. Sometimes it gets smaller, just like what Apostle has prophesied. Uh, it really affected me a lot because uh, sometimes you think uh, maybe you are not doing what God actually wants you to do. But then the man of God has just told us the root cause of it, which is that uh, there was the, the devil is actually fighting. And, um, but God is for us. Uh, I was actually believing God for because I used to watch Charis TV. I used to see miracles happening and things that are happening here. So my coming here, actually, I was believing that stepping my feet here and even uh, getting the grace of speaking to the man of God one-on-one, -on -one, uh, the, the root or whatsoever the devil has planted in our ministry as well as in our life is going to be uprooted. The man of God, God show him about my ministry and he shows that uh, he's seeing an agent in my church as a woman. And she used to come there to take the information from my church so that she would go to share with the other agents, those who send her, so that they would destroy my church. Because I realized that my church is not easy to them. To, to, to them, my church is fire and is troubling them. So they want to destroy it. That's why they send someone, they plant someone to be an agent to give them information outside of my church. I realize that uh, there are people that uh, when you are talking to them, you see, sometimes you tell the person, you need to confess, you need to confess, because there are things that you are, you are doing which is not right if you want to be free. You see, sometimes the person tell you, no, I will, I will come to confess one on one, or I will meet you, man of God. No, I, 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 will, I, will, I will write it down, then I will come. Then I realize that this kind of people, it must be one of them, or it must be the one, because I realize that there's a problem. There's a problem. And even sometimes the person, you are talking to the person, then you realize that the person does want what is in you, but the person doesn't like you. Yeah, so they come just for their benefit. Once they get what they want, then they go. So that's why they are fighting now. They are trying now to see the church finished. But uh, for me, I'm not planning or busy with the church or ministering the church or happy because of the church is full. But I'm, I care mostly for the soul. Even two or three people gathering together, as long as God is in their midst, that's what he desire me and inspire me a lot. Because I want to win even one soul to Christ. Mm -hmm. It's not about the numbers. It's all about salvation. I'm ministering because of salvation, not because I'm anointed. So that's a secret that they fail to understand. I feel like, uh, because normally sometimes I used to be like stressed. And sometimes I feel like when they're attacking me, I feel like I should fast every day of my life. And also sometimes I tell mama, that you, you need to fast every day. But it's not easy because for her, she used to go to work. Can you see? And so we experience so many attacks. And sometimes we find ourselves, we're supposed to do something in that moment, we disagree. Then later on, when you pray, it's where we are going to realize that we were supposed to do this. And God used to confirm from both of us. As the man of God says that, my wife is a gift from God and, and God wants us to work together. And I, 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 before the man of God gave me that prophecy, I tell him that, yo, I used to tell my wife that I want you to bless our church like uh, my, my apostle is wife, so that we work together, our church to grow. Then the apostle said, yes, I can confirm that you are right. That's why the reason he bring, he bring, God bring this woman in your life, be happy, rejoice in the Lord. That's why I'm rejoicing today. I feel free. So I feel happy and the, now I'm strong, you know. I'm blessed. Yeah, firstly, I want to encourage them in Oshuambo, back at the home there, maybe they are watching. So, Namibia, we are here, with Namibia, we are here, and 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 we are Nde itapuni ngi rundu rukolasha ilo alimbiru wa kuashtoni ngi kuchana ovena avo opasta ilo profeti ilo apostoli 
wapumbwa kuu ya uyu manguruwe sasho pena na wapewa e filo ngenda lo kumangula no kuteo marienge no kuhana unapomo amba esho umilo ulu avate kurifa tangi unene ndara muye a, 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 a namibia amu shemuye manguruwe ok in english i want to encourage everyone down home there in namibia as you are watching charis keep on watching charis charis is delivering people either you are an apostle or you are a pastor or you are a prophet there is no one who is great Christ, only one who is great. Come and receive your deliverance. I, we, are, we receive our deliverance. We see the different. We are free. And from now on, as we leave this place, our church, there is no one who is going to stop it. Because when we come here, we receive a grace. As the apostle used to say that, you cannot stop him. He have the grace. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. We receive the grace also. So you cannot stop, you cannot stop us anymore. Keep on watching Church TV. You are blessed.